hey, can I talk to you about something that I learned about in sociology? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we're talking about theorists, and I decided to um, research somebody named Jane Addams. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about her, okay? Perfect. Um, Jane Addams was born on September 6th in 1860, and she's born in Illinois, and her family is very prosperous, which they were rich. Um, and despite having a wealthy childhood, she developed empathy for people who were less fortunate than her. And because of this empathy, it like later developed, well, it later like influenced her career and kind of what she did for society. Um, she had health issues after finishing college, which made her kind of want to change her life, change what she was looking at, just experience new things because she got sick. So she traveled to Europe and she came across settlement houses, which are centers created to aid poor communities and advance social change. So after she had seen that stuff, she kind of came back to the United States and decided some things that she wanted to change. Um, so she started, well, she co-founded what's called the Whole House, and it was in Chicago, and it was a settlement home, and it worked to close the gap between the social classes, um, and brought services to immigrants and other underprivileged people, just trying to bring them into the community and show some love. Um, her colleagues and Jane thought that they could understand the needs of the community and affect it by living in it, residing in it, and being with people who didn't have as much. Um, and so it was a lot of social activity there at the whole house and they provided a lot of education, childcare, healthcare, stuff like that for less fortunate people. Um, she also was a social reformer who stood up for a lot of issues. Um, she fought for racial equality, working better working conditions, and women's suffrage. Um, she also fought for fought against child labor and supported more sanitary conditions in cities. So basically she did all of it. Um, and she and not only did she advocate for this stuff, but she also was a leader and she took action to fight against these issues instead of just speaking about them she was willing to lead people for better things um she boldly supported pass pacifism during world war one um she played a key role in founding the women's international league for peace and freedom and this group was dedicated to preventing future wars because of communication and collaboration so because of her efforts in World War One, she was actually given the Nobel Peace Prize um, because she helped create peace between countries and ultimately got the great powers to disarm. So they stopped fighting because of her. Um, she also made significant contributions to social work. Um, because of her work at the Whole House, it created um, groundwork for other social work techniques, other safe houses for people. Um, she also wrote a lot of books. Um, in today's world, though she's relevant in her emphasis on empathy and compassion and the power of solidarity, um, she, we still have a lot of these issues, obviously, but she kind of brought them to the forefront and made them more popular, brought more people into these causes kind of laid the foundation for a lot of social work and just helping less fortunate people. Um, she believed that humans had the ability to change. And so a lot of people during this time thought that what class you were born into is a class you had to stay in. And she wanted everybody to kind of like earn their way. Um, and yeah, she was a big part of the social transformation of our society. Do you have any questions? Um, no questions, but thank you for teaching me about Jane Addams, and I enjoyed learning about her. Um, there's a couple things I forgot to mention about Jane, um, that I want to share with you just to let you know a little bit more about her still. Um, with the Nobel Peace Prize that she won, she was actually the second woman ever to win a Nobel Peace Prize for her efforts in World War One. Um, she... To help with this, she believed that countries should settle their agreements peacefully, so she was a big part of 
not fighting for peace. She wanted to communicate and figure things out peacefully. Um, she also worked to win women the right to vote. That's something I didn't mention earlier. So she was one of the activists who pushed for women to have that right, which obviously we get today. So she's a big part of that. And then just pushing for child labor laws and all that good stuff. Well, thank you for sharing. You did so good. <laughs> Cut that.